Hello automation enthusiasts and welcome. In this knowledge base video, we will be reviewing the steps to create a custom execution environment, uploading it to Automation Hub, and using it for a job within Ansible Automation Platform. So now the question is, what are execution environments? All jobs within Ansible Automation Platform are executed within containers, also known as execution environments. They contain the Ansible tools, collections and roles, and software libraries needed for your automation content. This is to reduce complexity and make executing automation jobs more straightforward. Now let's move on to installing Ansible Builder. To start with creating execution environments, we will use a tool called Ansible Builder. This tool is part of the Ansible Automation Platform repository, so that is where we'll install it from using the DNF command. And here we are simply showing the versions of Podman and Ansible Builder that are installed at the time this video was recorded. So let's move on to building our first execution environment. First, we'll start by creating a directory called custom EE and then switch to that directory. Inside, we are going to create a files directory that will house any files or configurations we want to put into the execution environment. Inside the files directory, let's create an ansible.cfg file. This file will contain information regarding what Automation Hub servers we would like to download collections from. And with that out of the way, let's create the execution environment.yaml file, also known as a build definition file. As you can see, this file will contain all of the necessary definitions for dependencies, build steps, and base images. Essentially, everything we need for our execution environment can be defined in a single file. Now we can move on to building the execution environment image. As our base image uses an image from registry.redhat.io, we need to log into the registry. To keep things simple, we have already configured an auth.json file that contains the credentials to log in. The following Ansible Builder create step is optional. We simply want to show the file structure that Ansible Builder creates when, whenever the build command is run. To build the execution environment, we simply run the Ansible Builder build command. There are a few key flags to keep in mind here. The v3 is verbosity flag, three being the highest, so that we know what is going on. The no cache flag tells Podman to not use any image layers from previous builds. We do this so that we always have a clean build. Finally, the dash T flag is for a tag, and that would be the tag we want to assign to the execution environment. While the build is running, if you are ever curious, the build steps can be found within the container file within the context directory. Now that the build is finished, we can view the images with podman images command. As you can see, at the very top is our new execution environment. Now that our custom execution environment is built, we need to upload it to our Automation Hub server. We'll start by logging into the Automation Hub registry with the podman login command. We're specifying the TLS verify equals zero flag as our Automation Hub server uses a certificate that is self-signed. We are going to tag the image with the name of our Automation Hub IP instead of localhost. Then we use the podman push command along with specifying tag with the Automation Hub IP. This will upload the execution environment to our Automation Hub server. So now let's head on over to your Ansible Automation Platform environment to see how we can assign the execution environment 
to a job template. Of course, first, we'll need to log in to the Ansible Automation Platform UI. After you have logged into Ansible Automation Platform, let's head on over to Automation Content and then to Execution Environment to see that our execution environment has indeed been uploaded. Next, we'll head over to the Automation Execution section and then to Execution Environments to add the execution environment to Automation Controller. Here, we will click the Create Execution Environment button, and then it's just a matter of filling out the details, such as image name and credential, to pull the image from the Automation Hub. Afterwards, click the blue button at the bottom. The final step is to head over to the Job Templates page, select a job template, and assign the new execution environment to it. After that, click the Launch button and go to the Details page to see that the job is using the new execution environment. So to recap, we covered what an execution environment is, how to build one, uploading the execution environment to Automation Hub, and how to use it for job execution. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Thank you and have a great day.